Hi, welcome to our call. I'm really excited to share with you some information about um, getting started as a new presenter. Um, just so you know what this call is going to be about, we are not going to be going over facts, over the basics of being a presenter, about compensation, about how to set, set up your website. We are not going to be going over those things. Um, if you haven't watched my original first new presenter orientation, that goes over all of that information. So I would suggest to go through and watch that. There's also some fantastic training on your unique site as well. Um, we're going to be talking today about action and what specific actions you can do to help build your business. Um, just really quick, this is me. Um, I am your upline um, exclusive leader and I've been running for about 12 years. I've been doing direct sales for just over six years. I, I love that I get to stay home with my kids and work directly from home, which is awesome. Um, in the past, I've also done piano um, teaching and um, just well, you know, other fun stuff. Um, <laughs> here is my information as well. Now, with our team, um, you do want to contact your sponsor if you have direct questions, especially about basic training. She is the first person that can really help you with that or your upline elite. So if you don't know who that is, ask your sponsor who your upline elite is, and between the two of them, they can probably answer most of your basic questions about your business, but if for some reason um, they're not able to answer it or you're not able to get a hold of them and you need something really quickly, um, please don't hesitate to get, you know, contact me or give me a call, or I'm on Facebook quite a bit, so you can always find me on Facebook really easily. Okay, so... I mentioned that this you know, call is going to be about action, so here are some different places that you can find um, information about basics. Um, and unique training on your unique website, so if you go to your website and you go to my office and you click on weekly courses, um, you can go through and get some really good basic training about um, compensation and all that great stuff. And we also have a team training site just for um, everyone in my downline. Um, it's a really great resource, and I try to post a lot of helpful things there. It's called thelashdivas.com. I even have a new section for new presenters. So if I was starting as a new presenter, I would probably start out on my unique training site and go through that training first, and then go to thelashdivas.com. And Lash Divas, I have scripts for how to do a party, um, just really more specific things. And then the other source of support for you is your Facebook groups. So you should at least belong to your elite Facebook group. And then once you've kind of gotten started and you feel like you have a good feel for the business, um, then your upline will also add you to your exclusive Facebook group. And that is a you know, really good source for information and files and photos and just ask questions and network with other presenters. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to suggest is to get organized. Um, Something that has worked for me is I create a unique folder on my computer. So I'm actually going to show you some of these things here. So my computer's a little messy, but I have a folder that's called Unique. And I kind of get really specific with my um, folders. I have a lot here. You don't need this many. Um, really, the ones I use the most, um, I have one that's for a Facebook party. This one's super helpful for me because I really put the images that I use all the time in my parties here, so it's easy access. I also have a folder that is just for 3D lashes. In fact, I have one that's just for my favorite 3D lashes. And then I also have one that I use for like marketing images, things I can print out. I, I happen to like to, to design a lot of things, so this is kind of my little um, folder for that. Um, another thing that I, you'll find really, really helpful is to create a Word doc. Or you can use, I actually use the program um, Evernote. It's a free app. And what I like about Evernote, um, you could do the same thing with Google Docs, but I feel like Evernote is easier to use on my phone. I can save information. Sorry about that. I can save information um, on Evernote. Like, for example, um, when I post on Facebook, I kind of have a script that I use that I, you know, basically just copy and paste from, and I have it on Evernote. So whether I'm answering somebody on Facebook or on my phone, my computer, I mean, excuse me, <coughs> sorry, um, I can just copy and paste. It makes it super easy and efficient. So the last thing I want you to do is to spend five minutes 
you know, explaining the 3D lashes to every single person that asks you about it. That's a waste of time. <laughs> Be vision. So write it out once and then copy and paste. Um, the other place that you can find a lot of great resources is um, lashlibrary.net. So let me open up a new tab here. So don't feel like you have to download every single photo onto your computer. Okay, you don't need to do that. So lashlibrary.net. I suggest just downloading the photos that you use a lot. And otherwise, you can get a lot of great photos here for your parties or Instagram or Facebook or, you know, printing. And um, just click on a section here. And if you right click on a picture, you can click to open the image in a new window and it will make it bigger. And then it's so easy, you just drag it right onto your desktop or right click save image. Um, if you're on your phone, you can just hold, press and hold if it's an iPhone and it will save it to your phone as well. So, like, there's tons of images on here, and these are images that people have been willingly shared, so it's okay to use them and share them, and we'll be adding more to that. So that is a, you know, a website you might want to bookmark. Um, I mentioned you can create a folder just for your parties, make it easy accessible. Oh, and then on our team website. So let me show you that line here. So this is, again, for everyone in my downline. If you don't know about it, I'm introducing you. Um, it's called thelashdivas.com. And it does have a, pass, a password, which is Lash Divas, all lowercase and no spaces. And I've got everything organized here. So if you're a brand new presenter, you're going to want to start on the new presenter basics. This is my orientation video that goes over compensation and really some great basics for getting started. Um, you can subscribe to my team email list. Talks about how to, what you do when you get orders and customer service. So lots of great information here. Um, if you go on the training central, there's actually if you go to selling and parties. There's some scripts here. So I have on my online Facebook party. I'm going to add a link here where you can download um, a Word doc script if you want to just down, you know, have that accessible, or if you want to just go back and forth um, from the Facebook page. It's a step by step on how to do a party. So. Um, hopefully that will be really helpful for you. You can use the same images here. Um, these images are going to be a little bit small, so you actually want to download them from the Lash Library. Put them in a folder, but use this as a guide. So lots of great information there. Let me get started again. Okay, some other things that you can do for your business is to create a reference binder. This is totally optional. But if you plan on meeting people in person, let's say you're not going to do everything online, or you're going to be meeting, or just you want a handy reference, you like to have things you know, written out, laid out, you don't always have to, like to have to go on the computer to look at things, I really recommend getting a reference binder and putting one together. So basically you just buy a three ring binder, you know, half inch or an inch binder, and print out some of the files that are in our training site. I actually have an entire presenter guide. It's very thorough, um, very detailed. You can print that out and stick that in there. Um, I'm also putting together some flyers for business opportunity. So when you meet with someone that's interested in the business, you don't have to worry about knowing every single detail. I want you to be out there sharing. I mean, I, yes, I do want you to take a little bit of time to learn about the business and the details, but that information, honestly, it will come. But I really want you to get out and go and act, you know, put action, go start sharing, and not worry about knowing every little detail about everything. So if you have a reference binder, when you go and meet someone that's interested in the business, you literally can just flip through a few different pages, and it'll tell you, okay, here's a little bit about the business. Here's a little bit about our products. You put a catalog in there. Um, I'll add some pictures of some different reference binders to our team site, so you can see that and examples as well. Um, and it's small and portable. So don't get a huge notebook. Get something that you can slip in a bag, in your purse, keep in your car, something like that. Okay, supplies. Now, I'm going to tell you, these are totally optional. You can do a lot of your business online. So if you don't want to invest yet in these kind of supplies, you don't have to, especially, again, if you're doing a lot of your business online. But I will tell you what I use these different supplies for. So. Um, I do think it's a good idea to have business cards because a lot of people, when they you know, they'll ask you if you have a business card or your information if you're talking with them. Um, it's actually almost better to get 
I won't say almost better, it's always better to get their information. So if you don't have business cards, what you can say when someone says, hey, do you have a business card? Instead of saying, oh, I haven't gotten any yet, you can say, oh man, I just handed out my last one. Well, why don't I get your information and I'll send you my website? Or even better, uh, if they have a smartphone and you have time to do this, if you're at an event or at the park or something like that, ask them if they have Facebook on their phone and ask permission first, but then you're going to take their, I mean, you're going to steal their phone, but you're going to take their phone and you're going to go on Facebook on their phone and you are going to like your profile from their phone. So what's going to happen is you're going to go home and you're going to see a friend request from this person you just met at the park. And that is going to connect you with this person even better than getting their email address. Because emails can be ignored. But if you're connected on Facebook, they're going to see your posts every once in a while. And they're going to be reminded about, hey, there's that makeup person. And you can send her all the sorts of information. So business cards are not a necessity. But I do, um, one thing I do is I send thank you cards to every single customer of mine. And I send um, a little card with a little handwritten note. I've actually printed out postcards that have a lot of it already written for me, and I just you know, handwrite a little bit of it. Um, I include a sample of our eyeshadow pigments, which I'll, which I'll show you for a second. Um, and then a business card. I always put a business card in there. Um, catalogs. Catalogs, again, totally optional. We actually have a PDF of our current catalog online, so you can always send that to people. But if I have someone that's interested in the business, I really like to give them a catalog. Or sometimes um, even my hostesses, if they're not, if they're local, um, I'll send them a catalog or drop off a catalog. Um, I've even had really good benefit from um, customers giving them a catalog. I feel like I get more future orders when I do that. Um, but again, totally optional. And then materials for samples. So I mentioned I send out thank you cards for each of my customers and I include a sample. So you can do samples in a few different ways. And I've got a picture here. You can purchase samples of the eyeshadow pigments, concealers, and blushers through your back office. They look really nice and professional. They've got a silver packet with a logo on it and everything. But I will tell you they are a little pricey and they actually contain quite a bit of pigment. So if you have the time, now those are, you're basically paying for time because you're not putting them together. So if you have, you know, the money to spend on that, you don't want to spend the time, do that because then you'll have, you'll have them and they'll be ready to go. If you have time, like, I don't know, at night when I'm watching a movie or a TV, I'll just one day um, a month, I just put a bunch of samples together. Or you could pay your kids to help you put samples together. Or find a teenager that needs some extra work and pay her five bucks an hour to put samples together for you. Um, so it's super easy work. But it does take a little bit of time. Um, but what you would do is just buy eyeshadow pigments. And I, you can use containers like shown here. But I actually buy little baggies right off of eBay. Um, I think mine were uh, one and a half inches by two inches. Something like that. And they literally fit perfect over the um, eye pigments, you know, little ones that you get in your kit. Like, perfect. So I just put the bag over the top, I turn it upside down, and I tap the pigment container, you know, maybe ten times. And then I seal up the bag, I put a label on it, and I staple it to my thank you card. Or you could staple it to your business card, you know, business um, cards. These kind of containers, the downside about these is... It's more expensive to mail them because you have to mail it as a package versus an, an envelope would be just a regular stamp. And you can't really staple it to your cards and they're going to take it more room. So that's just my thought on that. Oh, another tip when you, or just another reason to make your own samples is if you're buying eyeshadow pigments, that goes towards your PRS. So you get credit, you know, toward that, or you can use Ycash and get it for free, which is even better supplies you always have to pay for. So just another reason. Okay, let's get back to action because I'm all about action. And um, one thing I want before we kind of get into these different um, areas and different steps that you can do, I don't want you to be overwhelmed. I'm going to give you several different ideas of things that you can do. You get to choose which things you want to do for your business. I'll admit I do a variety. So I'm going to talk about Facebook. I actually am going to talk about things that I personally do. 
on Instagram, Pinterest. I'm going to talk about online parties. I do all four of those, but I I specifically concentrate on Facebook more. Um, but I sprinkle the other things in, you know, throughout my business. So I like variety. It works really well for me. If it doesn't work for you, find what works for you. Um, the other thing I want to just say is that this is your business. So I'm not your boss. Your sponsor is not your boss. You are your own boss. So if you, the only way to get results um, is from action. So no one's going to make you go do anything. You have to be self-motivated. So if you haven't thought of a goal, um, you know, th think of that and write it down and, and make a plan. So, okay, action. Facebook. So the very first thing you should do on Facebook is to create a business page. So if you haven't created a business page or you're not sure how to create a business page, you can literally go to Google and type in how to create a business page. But it's really super easy. And I'm going to show you mine. And you want to just make sure that, so page, you click more. I think you can click to create a page here. Um, you can't have the name seem like it is the unique corporate name. So you notice I put unique with Michelle Bell. Um, you can coordinate it so it's kind of like your website. Like I probably should have done .3dlashes and then my website would have been .3dlashes.com. But I didn't really think about that. And it's kind of tricky to change your name. So think about what you want your name to be. It cannot be Unique USA, Unique Canada. It can't be anything like that. It also can't be the name of a product. So it cannot be 3D Fiber Lashes because that is the name of our product. So something else. Beautiful Lashes. Just another person's is Lash Crack. It could be your name, Cassidy's Lashes, whatever you want. Um, just can't seem like it's corporate. Okay? Um, here's one reason I like pages. A lot of people um, run their business strictly through their pages. Um, you need to get likes. So if you are going to do a business page and you, know, you want to really be effective with it, you know, go online and find some information about how to get more likes on Facebook. Um, I've got some information on training site. That's at least something that you do not your first week, maybe as you start getting into your business a little bit more. Um, but here's one reason I like Unique. Or I mean, I like, well, I love Unique. Here's one reason I like my Facebook page is because I can schedule posts. So this Facebook page does not have to take a lot of time. In fact, what I would highly suggest is to take the weekend, maybe Saturday night or, or maybe really early Monday morning, and just plan all of your posts for the entire week and you want to post two to three times a day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a picture here and it doesn't, you don't want everything to be salesy, 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 right? You just don't. So um, I could find, sorry, I didn't have a picture in mind. Okay, so here's a picture. So, but you want to do some, this one happens to be a neat post. Um, okay, something like that. <laughs> um, so, one thing I've learned about Unique is that if you put your website in the post, it won't get seen by as many people, which is weird, right? But if you do something like this, I can post it. And um, Facebook tries to make it hard for people to see what you're posting. So, um, again, I'm not going to do a whole lesson, you know, a whole call about Facebook um, business pages. But if you have likes and people sharing and people commenting, it's going to get more exposure. So just by you commenting and putting your website on here, it's going to have more people see it. The other thing that you can do is you can share it anywhere can share it on a group. So I actually have um, a group, a customer group actually, and I can share it and that will help me get more exposure on my page. So there's some fun little tricks like that that you can learn about. 
Um, I mentioned a Facebook party group. So my very first party, I created a group. And let me go to that. And I would encourage you to do the same thing. It wasn't called Unique Customer Group at first. In fact, I think I called it Michelle's Magic 3D Lashes. Um, and basically, I used this as my first party. So my very first party, I had this group, and I posted two to three times a day for the first 10 days, and I got orders from my friends and family. You can see I have um, you know, over 550 people in this group, so I added a lot of people to the group that I know. Um, once my party was over, I really don't host my own party, like a real, you know, party party like I do hostesses. So once my party was over, I turned my group into a customer group. And how I work that is if I have someone that has purchased from me, or even someone that expresses interest in the products, I will add them to my group. And um, I actually posted something a while ago. Let's see if I can scroll down. Okay, so now I post in here like once a week. Or um, if I have someone that was interested in the products, I will add them to my group. And so you can do that right here at the top. You just write add people to group, start typing in their name. You do have to be friends with them to add them to your group. And then I just tag them in a comment. I say, welcome Caroline. Here's some more great info about the 3D lashes. So the reason I'm adding her to my group, I mean, we're already friends. So she'll probably see some of my posts, but um, this is all unique stuff so just unique stuff and she can scroll down and see lots of information and pictures and I'll try to put some funny stuff in here too and I'll put um, any specials that we have going on so I post you know a few times a month in this group um that's my customer group and by the way Facebook takes time so I just want you to know that I have had people you're branding yourself on Facebook Okay, so you're creating exposure, you're creating, you know, um, an awareness about your products. That doesn't mean people are going to purchase necessarily the first week. I have people that have been part of my group for a few months that then finally message me and say, okay, I'm ready to try it. Okay, tell me more about it. So don't get frustrated. You have to be working this business consistently and you'll start seeing momentum as you, you know, the longer that you work it. Um, okay, and then post on your profile. I can't tell you how hugely important this is. I belong to another company, and I could not post on my profile um, for the first two, you know, three months of my business. Once I was able to start posting on my profile, I noticed a huge difference um, in my business, specifically in the number of people that I sponsored. Um, in January, I think I sponsored three people. And in February, I sponsored 14. And that's when I started posting on my profile. So here are some suggestions on things to post. When someone goes to your profile, they need to be able to tell that you are a unique presenter. So make that really obvious. Um, you'll notice on here that I, on your work, you can link it to a business, OK? Do not link it to the unique corporate site. Do not type in that you work at unique, because it will send potential customers to the unique corporate site and you will lose them forever. Send them to your business page. This is another important reason to have a business page. So I don't work at unique, I work at unique with Michelle Bell, okay? Um, the other thing is you want it again to be obvious that you are with unique. Um, this is part of branding yourself and I can't tell you how important this is and I, I didn't realize how important this is again until I started posting. So you want people to think of you when they think of unique. And when people think of unique, you want them to think of you. So you might end up being the you know, crazy lash lady. And I'm telling you, that's OK. That's what you want. Um, so I, you can see down here, OK, I've got, we don't want to look at that. But anyways, um, I don't post a lot of pictures of myself. But I will thank people for ordering, especially if they're friends of mine. I'll actually tag them in that. Um, I talk about fun things that I'm doing, and then I, you know, add, I do add family stuff in here. Now, I will be honest, I use my Facebook page for business. 
I, I mean, I still use it to connect with friends and check up on what they're doing, but I don't post my kids' names. I don't post where my kids go to school. I don't post my address. I don't even post my city. So just, you know, be, be aware of that. If you are going to post things about your family and stuff, um, just be safe, you know, with Facebook. Um, I do friend a lot of people that I don't know. So I, I do post personal things, but I try to keep my personal information off of Facebook. Um, sorry, there's lots of Mother's Day things on here. So I've got, you know, pictures of my kids. Um, but then I welcome my new presenters onto my page. What this does, a couple things. Number one, it's going to tag them. So their friends are also going to see this. Um, first of all, make sure that's okay. Make sure they're okay with people knowing that they're joining Unique. Sometimes if they belong to another company, they may not want everyone knowing. But as long as it's okay, um, it's going to show other people that I am sponsoring, that I am building a team. And it's showing them that I'm successful. If you're just starting out, you can, you know, write a little bit on the success of your upline. Oh my gosh, my upline just added her 15th person or whatever. Or I'm meeting with somebody. Um, I add inspirational quotes to my page. I talk about accomplishments that I've done. I do not say anything negative on my Facebook page. I don't swear. I don't post obscene things. If that's something that you're currently doing, you may really want to consider changing that. Because when people start to look up who they want to join on Unique, they are going to look you up on Facebook and see, hey, are you really doing this business? And what kind of person are you? Are you do you look like somebody that is inspirational and supportive and someone that I would want to join? So, no, but you know, put funny things, you put random things too. Um, so profile, super important. Okay. Pinterest. So Pinterest is a whole other thing. I love Pinterest and I'll tell you how you can make it really easy. First, you need an account. You can create just a business account or you can use a personal one. It's a total preference to you. Um, figure out what days to post on Pinterest. So what I mean by that is, um, like everything, you could just be overwhelmed and or you could spend all day on Pinterest. Don't do that. <laughs> you know, figure out, okay, Mondays and Wednesdays, I'm going to take five, ten minutes and post some different things on Pinterest and then I'm done. Okay. Um, on Pinterest, well, here's what's really cool. Okay. So if you are on your unique website, make sure you're on your website. That's very important. Any image, basically, almost any image, can be pinned. So if you go to shop, okay, you'll notice some little share buttons down here. You can share on Facebook or it'll give you more sharing options and a pin it button. So it's going to bring up images I can pin. I mean, seriously, this is so super easy. Um, you have to be logged. Oh, no, I've got to log in. I have pick a board. So on Pinterest, if you're not familiar with Pinterest, it's really easy. It's just like Think of um, bulletin boards, like in your room, let's say you have different bulletin boards and you're cutting pictures out of magazines and you're pinning them onto different boards to give you ideas. That's basically what Pinterest is. It's just a virtual bulletin board. So I have created um, something that says, you know, 3D Fiber Lash and I can pin it. And let's go over to my Pinterest page. See it now. So here's what's cool. It has my website on here. So if somebody clicks on this, it takes them not only to my website, but that exact page. That is amazing because Facebook doesn't do that and even Instagram doesn't do this. Um, so Pinterest is, is huge. You're taking people right to your site and people can share it, um, especially if you make interesting things. So, you know, something of the product, I don't know how many people are gonna share that unless they're with Unique. But if I have a picture of eyes or eyeshadows or makeup tips or, you know, something like that, that will probably get more shares. And the more that people share it, the more other people will see it. So if you can make something creative or interesting, educational, people will be more likely to share it. Um, so Pinterest is cool. Um, and again, it doesn't have to take a lot of time. There's there's all sorts of fun ideas. Like, isn't that the coolest thing ever for a kitchen? I know. You could really get stuck. 
<laughs> on all the amazing things you can do with your house on Pinterest. So be careful not to get totally sucked in. It's really fun. Um, okay, that's my Pinterest. All right, um, I did not add Instagram on here, but I just got off this amazing call about Instagram, and I am going to start doing more on Instagram, like a lot more on Instagram. So I have, I will have information on our Lash Divas page about Instagram. Um, I can't really pull it up on here on my computer. You have to have it on your phone. But the cool thing about Instagram is that, well, let's compare it to Facebook. On Facebook chooses who sees your posts and who doesn't. And they try to make it so you have to pay for more people to see your posts. You'll see on there you can pay to promote your posts and things like that. I have done that. I don't really know if I noticed much of a difference. Um, I noticed more people maybe liked my post, but it, did that translate into sales? No, not really. Um, but the training I'm going to post is from um, a gal that she doesn't really use Facebook at all. She really only uses Instagram, and she has sponsored 35 presenters pretty much strictly from Instagram. So, like, holy cow, <laughs> that's a lot. Um, and I don't think she's been in the business very long. So, that's, um, and she sells from Instagram. People go visit her site directly from Instagram, and she sells all month long. Um, so uh, you will want to listen to that call because she gives a lot of really detailed tips on what she does and how she does it and kind of the rules about Instagram. And I have to admit, before I listened to the call, I knew nothing about Instagram. And now I feel like I'm a semi-expert. So really good call. Listen to that. Um, okay, so now that I've given you a few different things that you can do, um, you need to create a plan. How much do you want to earn and what will that money go toward? Now that's really important because when we put a money goal out there, it's like, you know, psychologically we see that number there, but numbers don't touch us emotionally, right? Uh, you know, $100 a month, $1,000 a month, whatever you know, we want to earn. You need to put that towards something specific. You need to have something specific in mind. So is that $1,000 going to go toward your house, you know, rent? Or are you paying down debt? Are you paying for your daughter's dance lessons? Have a picture of what that money is paying for and, and how much do you want to earn it? How, how much are you willing to work for it? So I'm going to tell you right now up front because I want your expectations of this business to match reality. This is, a, this is work. You have joined a company that is a business and a business takes work. So I'm not going to promise that everything's going to be totally easy, okay, because I have weeks that, you know, I don't have a lot of people buying from me, and I have to figure out what to do because I have goals that I want to hit. So it takes work, but I can promise you that it is worth it. It is so worth it. So set a short-term goal. What do I want to do in three months? What do I want to, how much do I want to be earning in six months? And a long-term goal, okay, a year from now, what do I, where do I want to be? Please share those goals with your sponsor. Um, do it today, when you're after, right after you listen to this call. Email your sponsor and say, okay, here's what I want to accomplish with my business. And then create a schedule. Um, however, whatever works for you. If you're a list person, you know, write a list the night before of what you're going to do the next day. Um, if you have you know, a calendar, if you've got it on your phone, again, whatever works for you. But if you can kind of create a schedule, you won't let, you'll be more efficient with your time. You won't let your time get away with you, away from you doing tasks and things that really are not working towards your business. Okay, so now I want to talk about online parties because parties can be a huge part of your business. I really encourage parties. What I like about parties, and I specifically joined Unique because it was a party plan company. I was looking for a party plan company, and there's a few different reasons why. Um, one of the main reasons why is because I like to earn free products. <laughs> Um, I don't like to pay for makeup, so if I do an online party and I am my own hostess, then I can earn free products. Um, but you can't be your own hostess only and have a successful business if you're doing things on Facebook and online parties. You have to have hostesses. And here is why. Your hostess is going to introduce you to a new group of people. Depending on how many people that she invites, it could be a substantial you know, amount of people that you're being introduced to. That is huge. She, you're basically doing a business agreement with this hostess saying, 
you bring me business and I will give you free product. It's just an agreement. So all you got to do is find those that want to be in that agreement with you and then book those parties. So booking parties is only a matter of asking, asking people. You just got to always be asking people. Um, one to two parties. If you have one to two parties going on at a time, so that means you're going to have about three to four parties a month. Okay. That's part-time income. So if you want to make hundred dollars to $300 a month, you know, one or two parties. Okay. Um, or here's, here's why I say part-time and I want to make sure you guys again have realistic expectations. Parties are awesome, but you will have parties that go totally terrible. <laughs> You will have parties that bust. I don't have any sales or one sale, and that is totally normal. That does not mean that you are in a bad company. That doesn't mean that you're not a good presenter. It doesn't mean that the products don't sell. It just means that that was a bust party, and you just need to have more parties. Um, some parties will just go awesome, and some just won't. So if you only have one party going at a time, what happens if that's your bust party? Then you have no sales. So you always want to have several parties going on at a time. I really recommend having at least five to six parties at a time. That is going to give you some really steady income. If two of those parties end up not going so well, you have three more that are going to go great. Um, and if your average party is, you know, that $200, that's $600 each week that you're doing. 600 times four, you've got an awesome month. So that's going to give you really steady income. Now, let's just say you want to be awesome at this company. You want to replace full-time income with this company. You want to buy a house. You want to, you know, get the big bucks. You want to promote really quickly. You want to be a leader in this company. If that's who I'm talking to, then I would highly suggest in your first month or first couple months to aim for 10 to 15 parties. Those that have done 10 to 15 parties have had sales of 7,000, 8,000 to 10,000 and above in a month. Okay, that means you're gonna be earning almost $2,000 or more your very first month in Unique. Hello, awesome. I mean, that's like almost full-time income for some people. $24,000 a year, $2,000 a month. That's an incredible start to your business. So again, I know it's not for everybody, but if you see yourself moving up fast and earning great money soon, that will get you there quicker. And again, it's just a matter of asking people and getting a little organized. Okay, so here is a number I want you to you know, write down. Um, if you want to build a business and you want to do this more than just dabbling in it here and there, this is what you want to do. At least five parties going on all the time. So you always have five parties going on. So every 10 days, you start five more parties, five new presenters. So if you do this in your first month, you have five parties, and you're going to sponsor five new presenters. Sponsoring is the key to building a big business with Unique. It is the way that you earn more money with Unique. And we'll talk about sponsoring and how to do that. But that's very important for this business. And then two for $2,000 in sales. So 2,000 PRS, which is personal retail sales. So write this down somewhere, put it on your fridge, five, five, and two. And I will tell you, if you are doing these actions, you will get the results that you want with this business. Okay, the other action that you wanna do is take time for learning. So I mentioned that, you know, this is a new business. There are gonna be new things to learn. I hope you're not overwhelmed. Take it one thing at a time, but it's gonna you know, be a little bit of a learning curve. It's a new thing, it's a new business. So don't be hard on yourself that you don't know everything. It takes time. Um, but I don't want to stop you from taking action. So schedule in, you know, if, you, if you're just new and you're just joining, take an hour, go through and learn about compensation and about the products. Then schedule in 15 to 20 minutes each day to just do a little bit of learning. Um, whether it's learning about, you know, unique specifically or just direct sales in general. These are two really great books that I highly, highly recommend, especially, well, whether you're new to direct sales or not. I, like I mentioned, I've been doing direct sales for several years and I had never read either one of these books and I thought they were both extremely helpful. So um, start out with one of these books, read that, apply that to your business, 
And um, you can find some more resources and recommended um, readings on our lashdivas.com site. Both of these authors, Eric and Lori and Sarah Robbins, both have blogs as well. So you can get free videos and free resources from them on their blogs too. Okay, really quickly, because I don't want this call to be super long, we're going to talk about the two main ways that you can earn. And this is actually a repeat from my other call, but I, I just feel like this is so important. So if you haven't listened to my other call yet, you're hearing this for the first time. If you have, this will be just a little bit of repeating, but not a lot. Um, basically sponsoring again, that's the main way that you're going to grow a big business. You cannot promote unless you have a team. You don't have to have a team with Unique, but I highly, highly, highly suggest it. The only secret to sponsoring is just telling everybody. So the key, the main action in this business is you've got to get in front of people. And social media is great for that because you don't have to leave your house, right? But if you're not doing social media or if you're not getting the response you want on social media, you know, go out and talk with people. Make it a goal to find two to three new contacts every single day that have never, you know, you haven't talked to Unique about. And that's really going to help you. Um, I mentioned how you're going to demonstrate success, be uplifting, you know, especially on your Facebook group or blogs or anything that you're publishing online. And then invite every single customer to host and then also to join. Every single customer. Let your upline help you. Three-way calls. Again, you don't have to know everything. Please let us help you with you know, sponsoring. We can give you some suggestions of things to say or how to word it. Get the word out. We have great products. Just tell everybody. Those that are successful, just tell everyone. They don't prejudge. Um, and here's one thing I want you to think about. Unique is getting, it's going to be very big. It's going to be a really big company. How would your friends feel if they find out in a year from now that you've been with Unique this whole time and you're making great money and you never told them? Are they going to be mad at you or upset that you never shared this opportunity with them? Or this other thought, um, since we're going to become a household name, your friends are going to hear about Unique one way or another. If it's not through you, it will be through somebody else. And if you don't invite them, somebody else will. And um, if you haven't already had a friend join under someone else, um, it may happen in the future if you don't share it with them. So um, that's not to scare you or anything. But hopefully just to you know, there's urgency in our business. There really is. Other presenters are growing really fast. And there's definitely no scarcity but there is urgency because the quicker you grow a team and the quicker you sell, just the faster you promote. So tell everybody, just let people know. We've talked about there's different ways to market. If something isn't working for you, find a different avenue. There are tons of ways to market this, you know, our products. So find what works for you online, in person, with other businesses. Find what works for you. You can, um, another thing you can do is advertise on Facebook groups. I've got a whole training on that on our training site. Again, we just talked about online parties. I've got training on our site. And that was pretty much, this is a repeat from my other call, so we don't need to talk about that. Um, okay, so we've talked about online parties. We've talked about your website. Oh, I'm going to give you just a couple other things. These are really quick, though, I promise. On your website, if you haven't done this yet, do this right now. You can do it while you're listening to this call because it's on YouTube. Um, there is a biography in your profile. Well, first of all, if you ever forget your website name, you want to change it. That's where you can change it. Um, but there's a biography, and it'll have the default in here. Please change that. Personalize it. I just had someone email me this last week, and she said, I looked at a few different unique presenter sites. I'm looking for someone to join under and everybody had the default on their biography and you were the first person that had it personalized. So she decided to email me. So again, when people are looking for presenters, they're going to do some research on you. They want to see if you are successful, um, if you're positive, if you look like you're someone that can support them in this business. So show them that you are and they'll be more likely to want to join you. Um, here's the weekly courses that I talked about for the training. So check that out. Um, gosh, I think that's about it. 
So just again, decide what you're going to do. Um, I, I mentioned I do a variety, so um, I spend most of my time on Facebook. I would say 80%, 90% of my team has been from Facebook. Um, Facebook has been really, really helpful for my business. Um, just incredible, really. Find what works for you and just do it. Um, the last thing I'm going to just leave you with, last thought, is that, again, you are your own boss. Nobody can make you do anything. And your if, if you have a goal, okay, and you're not getting the sales or just, you know, the new presenters or whatever for your goal, if they're not coming to you, go out and get them because it's worth it to build. You cannot build a successful business by working your business for two days and then taking two weeks off. It really takes consistency. Um, so it doesn't have to run your life if you don't have all day to work your business, you know, Figure out what, what you do have, what you can contribute to your business. Figure out the goals. Your goals have to be big enough that you want to do it. Because um, I want you to think of, you know, like a mountain. When you start this business, it's going to be like you're pushing a snowball up a hill. It's going to take work. You're, you're, you're starting out. You're pushing it uphill. You're getting new customers. You're spreading the word. It's going to be, you know, a, a little... Hopefully it's not too rough because it's fun too. You know, free makeup, it's hopefully not too rough. And we can help you along the way, but it is work. So I want you to know that. But as you start getting toward the top of the hill, gosh, that snowball gets easier and easier. And you can kind of take a little break and breathe a little bit more. And then as you start going down the other side, that snowball just starts rolling on its own. And that is where I feel like I am in my business. And I already have other presenters on our team already in that momentum phase as well. But it does take a little bit of time to get there. So be consistent. Be persistent. Communicate with your sponsor. Let her help you. Ask her questions so she knows how to help you. Um, participate you know, on our Facebook page. Ask questions. Be involved. And make it fun. Be excited. Our products are awesome. Be passionate. Be excited. And just share with everybody. And let them know how much fun we're having and that they should join us too. So I wish you the best success as you're getting started with your new business. Um, please take advantage of all the training and tools and things that we have to offer. And um, hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye.